some days your head is, is feels like it's going to explode. Wendy was told she has Alzheimer's last year. Other days it feels like there's a hive of bees inside it. Signing up to a trial of an experimental drug has given her new purpose. Well, you feel abandoned because there's nothing, every door that you try and open, there's nothing there for you behind it. And, and research was one thing that opened up a, a whole new door that enabled me to feel that I was doing something positive. For years, scientists struggled for funding, but now a government-led drive to make the UK a world leader in this field means there is money around. This is the area that's involved with memory. So a single scheme called right Join Dementia Research has been launched to coordinate the recruitment of trial participants. What we need to do is to get studies done quickly. There's a lot more funding around now for research, a lot of very good research that's being supported. We need to get the answers very quickly, and that means getting people into the studies. Healthy people are needed too, like Nick, who's already having his brain scanned for science. One needs a control when you're examining, x-raying, doing scans of somebody with an illness to have somebody who help, hopefully is healthy, then that's the ideal situation. For Wendy, volunteering has helped with the burden of what her future holds. There's little that we can do with this disease at the moment and actually doing something of value just makes it that much more bearable. The hope is the Join Dementia Research Scheme will sign up 100,000 people, meaning crucial research will no longer be hampered by a lack of volunteers. Catherine Jones, 5 News.